little piece of cauliflower. Sorry, not broccoli. Oh, oh, broccoli? broccoli? I mean, whatever this is. It's a white treat. Okay. And then you guys can just throw that in when you've got it cut. We're part of the Virtues Youth Group and we're doing a cooking workshop, which is something that we've incorporated into the Virtues um, program this year um, to, to teach the kids about healthy eating and, and cook, give them some basic culinary skills so that they can take those home with them. Um, Virtues itself is a, does a lot of things. I mean, they do arts and crafts programs, they do physical activity, they do special events, whether it's a birthday or they celebrate Halloween. But essentially it's a program for the kids that live within the particular housing complex. And they come to learn to get along, to build some positive uh, skills, um, increase some self-esteem, just so they can participate in a, in a positive, socially, you know, appropriate um, program and we'll have some fun. This is something that they can do within their own community. And also get to know the kids that are within their own community and hopefully, you know, learn some skills. We call them the virtues and they're anything from respect to cleanliness to truthfulness. There's 52 of them um, and they focus on those um, sort of on a monthly basis um, so that the kids can learn how to um, Get to know each other respectfully. Now um, we're making pasta, so what do we need to boil? Water, food. Right. So you already have a lot of carrots. Well, we're doing spaghetti, but we're doing a homemade pasta sauce, so that they can learn how to make homemade pasta sauce. And we're adding carrots and cauliflower to the um, spaghetti noodles, so that we can add some vegetables that they'll enjoy. And a lot of families buy things that are pre-made, and they cost more because you're buying a pre-made spaghetti sauce. So I'm teaching them how to make a basil tomato sauce using canned tomatoes. It's really simple, they can do it at home, and so hopefully their families will eat better but save money. I love the shopping, I love the preparation, but mostly it's the contact with the kids and seeing how much enjoyment the kids get. And at the end of every cooking class, we all sit down as a group and we all eat together. And that, you know, communal feeling of enjoying a meal together and seeing the kids enjoy what they've made, that's really rewarding.